Well, ladies and gentlemen, what I was gonna say, this Dr. Disrespect drama is still raging and we still don't have Twitch official statement. Yes, the ex-Twitch employees, they are the ones, they are the reasons why the story came out and it blew up like the way it did. But apparently Twitch officially never did respond. We don't have the receipts, we don't have the evidence. Like the video if you think we need the evidence, dislike the video if you don't want the evidence. When I say the evidence, I mean like, you know, what happened exactly. What, what happened behind the scenes because uh, some of the ex-Twitch employees are also, we're, we're saying that Dr. Disrespect is just one guy. There were other YouTubers, streamers on Twitch that were messaging minors inappropriately or sexting them in this situation oh, so yeah so so they said that but nothing really came out like the video if you want the list leaking out dislike if not and check this out roll it on june 25th 2024 Crazy, dr man. disrespect shocked the entire world with a tweet that now has over 120 million views basically admitting that he had inappropriately messaged a minor back in 2017 it's been a month since he said that and he disappeared though. Almost every content creator with any sort of relevancy has reacted to this. And this topic has practically taken over the internet. With news outlets as big as the Los Angeles Times, Bloomberg, Business Insider, The Rolling Stone participating Crazy. with their own articles on the situation. But why? There's been controversies similar to this unfortunately before. What makes this one so special? Well, you might have heard of who Dr. Disrespect I, I think the reason it blew up the way it did is because nobody saw Dr. Disrespect doing it and he's a uh, very, I mean, l let's be real, man. He's very successful. He has been very, very successful. So people, when they heard that, they were like, oh man, what? What happened? Th this has been bigger than Area 51 and Aliens Conspiracy, man. Fact is, you might be familiar with the fact that he is a big streamer, but not many people know how big of a deal he was. Yeah. This is someone who was in the same talent agency as Robert Downey Jr. and Beyonce. Someone what? who signed a contract with the same entertainment company behind the Walking Dead series, hoping to make a TV show with them. He had partnered with a football team, appeared on the WWE. The dude wasn't simply at the level of other content creators, he was going into Hollywood level fame. And while many people are saying that his downfall happened Man, I didn't know he appeared on WWE and he wasn't kind of like the same, uh, I guess, talent agency as Robert Downey Jr. That's insane, man. Happened over the Holy course of three days. I think that it was systemic, done so over the course of seven years. And this video's aim is to give you every single piece of relevant information you need to truly understand the scale of this controversy. Because uh -oh. trust me, if it seems bad now, then once you understand the full scope of this, it'll seem a thousand times worse. Here's how I'm going to split the video. First, we're going to talk worse. about the context. Who is okay. Dr. Disrespect? Where did he come from? What makes him special? What makes him unique? Then we'll head into what I think triggered his downfall, the year 2017, which we'll call Phase 1. Then we'll go over Phase 2. This Man, brother out here making an entire movie right now, man. This is like Christopher Nolan special, bro. This was when he was banned from Twitch and triggered a four-year mystery of theory crafting, trying to... Yeah, this is that period, right? So this is when, like, he was messaging minors, right? Inappropriately, in his own words. He's accused of sexting, but he admitted to messaging inappropriately. That's his own words, not my opinion, guys. This is no one's opinion. That's his uh, own opinion. Uh, that's what he said in his statement, uh, rather. And, and this is when he got banned. And this is when we heard and we learned why he got banned. Understand why he was banned. And then finally, we'll head into phase three, which is what's going on right now in June 2024. And how uh -oh. it relates completely to both phase one and two. Then we'll and, and now we're almost in August, bro. Now we're almost in August, bro. Wrap everything up in a conclusion. So without further ado, let's dive right into this mess. And speaking of messes, I created a highlights channel on YouTube for my Twitch stream because there's a lot of goofy, crazy moments that happen all the time. So we'll be compiling the best moments there. Link in the description and okay. the pinned comment. Anyway, okay. back to the video. Back when you see video. a wildfire of this magnitude, understanding where it came from makes it a thousand times worse. This is why to fully understand this, as I always do on this channel, we have to go back to the absolute beginning. In this case, when Dr. Disrespect first came to be and the person behind it all, Guy Beam. 
Uh, shout out to you for subscribing, Nelly. Thank you, Nelly. To disrespect, first ever video is still available on YouTube today with over 1.2 million views. It was uploaded on January 12th, 2010, so 14 years ago. This was back Holy when Call of Duty crap. commentary channels were the backbone of YouTube, yeah. right? Guy Beam saw the potential here. You know the craziest thing here is that mostly every big YouTuber that you see started from Call of Duty, right? In some way, shape, or form. Either they have now transitioned into real life content or changed games or whatever, changed careers or either stop uploading or you, you know what I mean, right? But generally speaking, it started with Call of Duty. And back in the days, you just uploaded gameplay as is and it blew up because the games were big, games were big, right? It was also fresh and YouTube was also blowing up at that time. YouTube is blown up uh, ever since. I mean, YouTube is bigger now than it was, but back then it's like the algorithm was simple, right? And people were also super passionate about Call of Duty uh, in comparison to today. And decided to give his own twist on this genre by creating a persona by the name of Dr. Disrespect, where he trash talks players and makes it funny to watch. This was actually one of his first innovations in this space. Every other commentary YouTuber was telling stories or just talking about their gameplay. But he was out here trash talking everyone, being an overall douchebag. And you know what? It worked. This would, of course, only be the beginning because then he would start reaching out to bigger content creators than him while staying in character. So he wouldn't be reaching out as Guy Beam. He'd be reaching out as Dr. Disrespect, which yeah. these content creators found really funny. So, of course, they collabed. This led to one of the biggest titans on YouTube at the time to take notice of him. And that's none other than Machinima. Look, oh, if you were on crap. YouTube... At no way! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No way, man! I remember, like, I, I, I remember being partnered by them. It was, like, super hard, bro. Like, that is crazy. But these seconds sucked your, uh, like, monetization, though, revenue, though. I believe they would take, like, 40% of your revenue, right? Uh, some YouTubers, it was, like, 70, 30. So, for example, if you made $100, they would take $40 away, bro. Like, and I don't know why I wanted to be in partner with them. I think it was a cool thing at that time, right? I was a kid. A, a lot of people were starting on YouTube and they were like, oh shit, like machine was a big deal, machine was a big deal. So everybody wanted to be partnered with them. Like Circus didn't even care about losing that big of a revenue chunk. Circus just wanted to be partnered by them. Like they would give them BJs and they didn't even give a single damn thing though. They didn't even give a single damn nugget, bruh. They didn't even give a damn thing to nobody, at, at least like uh, to the smaller mid-sized content creators, to the big ones, they probably, they must have give, given them beaches and all that, allegedly. At the time, 13 years ago, you know exactly who these names are. Sark, Hutch, Cnanners, they were the fundamental pillars of the YouTube Let's Play community. You see them in this video on their way to the reveal night of Call of Duty Black Ops. They're just being silly and stupid as always, and then all of a sudden, you see the one and only Dr. Disrespect. Yeah, 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 he was already hey, 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 hey. Yo! Tranquilo, papi. Tranquilo, tranquilo. Hanging out with some of the most creative people on YouTube back then. And regardless of the controversies that happened with Machinima in the years That's to come, or back then, enemies? it was a space of the highest type of creativity on YouTube. And he was a part of it. Guy would continue to develop Dr. Disrespect and would establish a backstory for him. The fact that he was a former member of Optic and was a two-time champion in 1993 and 1994 in the Blockbuster Gaming Championship of NBA Jam within the online gaming community. He'd always oh, refer to himself as the two-time, as the best. Oh, so that's where it came from. Okay, okay, so 1993, 1994. I didn't know. I was thinking about two times, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I, I thought it meant like something else. Uh, okay, my bad. Back to back champion. And his aesthetic was deeply rooted in the whole cyberpunk idea of the future that was exhibited in many movies in Hollywood back in the 90s. Now, look, things crazy were going guy, great for Dr. Guy. Suspect. He was gaining a lot of followers, a lot of renown within the content creator community. But there was one thing Guy Beam couldn't live his life without doing at least once, and that's working directly in video games. He would go on to join Sledgehammer Games, a studio owned by Activision, to work on the game Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. This right here is a blog post on the Sledgehammer website welcoming Guy as the new community manager, with the CEO of the studio at the time, Glenn Schofield, saying that he was a- Yeah, he worked on that, uh, and, and you know, the, the funniest thing here, and not even the funniest thing, uh, he also made a map in Rogue Company, right? He had his skin in Rogue Company, and they removed his map, they removed his skin from that game. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a crazy part, but I don't think they removed any of anything from like <laughs> Advanced Warfare. <laughs> they, you know, Call of Duty is like they they shits out games every single year that they don't even give a damn about the last game. Uh, and uh, yeah, so they probably don't give a damn. But uh oh, 2017 Phase One. Let's go. 
Dr. Disrespect's downfall began in one of the most unpredictable and craziest ways possible. There's this streamer by the name of Burger Planet. And look, he has a huge history that spans over 10 years, but to sum him up in one word, he's a lol cow. Someone eccentric and foolish with an internet presence that you pretty much just watch to feel better about your life because of how much of a mess they are. If you want to know more about him, I would recommend watching this video called Burger Planet Streaming's Forgotten Lol Cow. But his okay. most famous clip is this. Burger Andy gets left behind with 5 million views. Watch. Dude, it's sketchy out here. I don't have to walk back through there. Well, I mean, why'd you come here? I came here to see you guys. You said I could come with you. <laughs> so this right here became iconic. Burger Planet was always the butt of the joke. And even better, he deserved it due to how much of an asshole he is. But there was one thing that many people couldn't deny, even though he was a lol cow, he also had this talent of being in the right place at the right time. Here's it's an example coming. of the few instances it's happened. Back in December 14th, 2021, there was a truck that was speeding like crazy on the freeway and ended up unfortunately killing four- Truck driver gets 110 years in prison for crash that killed four people after his brakes failed. Damn, 110 years. So like, how do you give somebody 110 years like that? Yeah, he's life in life in prison. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, give him life in prison. But apparently, from what I recall, from what I heard, is that life in prison is not. It doesn't mean like your entire life being in prison, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but 110 years, bro. The guy's not even gonna come out alive, bro. He's not well, even people, gonna come out alive. The reason was because the brakes weren't working. Burger Planet happened to be streaming on that same freeway and was the only source of footage for the truck. He was featured on the news. Watch. To say that it was a speeding semi that no. caused that crash flew past them on the shoulder of the interstate yes i know you're welcome guys we just cured anxiety oh my god the burger planet blogger was recording when that semi blew past by him so that happened right and that was only one of the few instances that i mentioned the first holy hell you saw the speed he was flying though that truck was flying he got lucky, man. Imagine he was there on the other side. He That truck would have rammed into him and the car would have flip-flop and it could have been you that, you know what I mean? So sometimes, man, you got to count the blessings, man. Sometimes you got to like, this was instance of this. Call, what started call, this meme call. of him being in the right place at the right time was when he had exposed Dr. Disrespect and inadvertently, without even knowing, started his downfall. So we're now in 2017 and it's TwitchCon, a convention held annually for both streamers and their viewers. This is when Burger Planet would be doing an IRL stream. During it, he can be seen trying to socialize and make other streamer friends, failing miserably. He was super drunk and just making a fool of himself with everyone kind of shooing him away. It really wasn't more than just a try not to cringe compilation at this point. However, at around an hour and 45 minutes in his Twitch VOD, he goes oh. inside a bar and is trying to talk up the streamer who keeps shooing him away. Dr. Disrespect caught flirting at TwitchCon, no, no. Now listen, man, like flirting or you flirting with like consenting adults, uh, that's not a big deal. But you know, in this situation, Sek is gonna find like a, they find like an ounce of it, ounce of like a drip, they're gonna blast him though. And that's what's going on right now. You know what I mean? Uh, okay, let's see who he was uh, caught flirting with. Hopefully not anyone, anyone underage. Wait, like dude, back off, you're being weird. And in the background, we see none other than Guy Beam himself, aka uh, Dr. Disrespect. Watch. Oh, there he is. Dude, I did that for views. It was like, now you As you can see here, Guy wasn't alone. He has his arm extended. He's leading someone else to him. Burger Planet had understood that it was Dr. Disrespect and kept the camera on him. Here you can see him talking to a woman. And at this point, Dr. Disrespect was married. He had a wife. He even had a child. People knew what they looked like. She did not look like his wife. Now, throughout this thing, Guy was pretty nice. He was asking Burger Planet, oh, how many viewers do you have? He tells him 600 viewers. Guy says, wow, that's a lot of viewers. He says, hey, let me say hi to your chat. Burger Planet kept ignoring him and being rude. It was so cringy to watch. Whatever. At some point he goes out, tries to talk to other people. Same treatment, they're not interested. So far, okay. you might think this is an innocent clip. And honestly, it was. Burger Planet is by no means a big streamer. He had a few hundred people watching. Not enough to have any internet detectives. And if his interaction with Guy had stopped there, people wouldn't have known about the stream to begin with. What changed- and, and you know, like, Guy Beam, uh, Dr. Disrespect is so tall that in the very beginning, when he had his, like, arm extended like that, you just see, you just saw his arm. You didn't see like the person that was like here because the person was so down and he was like that. You know what I mean? You, you feel what I'm saying, Bruh. right? Yeah, bro, like crazy plot twist. And then from a different angle, you saw the face and apparently the the internet detectives uh, found out that she didn't look like 
his wife. So, uh oh, who was she? Who she was? Who was she? Who she was? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Changed everything though was the fact that Guy started acting like Doctor Disrespect at some point. He couldn't bear being around Burger Plan anymore because he was insufferable. So this happened. Hey, we're not going to call him. Don't ever film me again. Why? Do me a favor. Don't ever film me again. Don't ever give me again. Okay. Do you hear me? What? Don't ever. Hey. What? All right. Well, get away from me, man. Don't be on my thing. Get it out of my face. All right. I'm coming. Well, don't go back into it if you don't want to be in it. At this point, the clip started to spread. More eyes were on this VOD. As you can see, this entire stream has 600,000 views. People quickly were able to put one and one together. The Reddit detectives were all over this. All of a sudden, it was clear. Because of Burger Planet stream, people knew that Dr. Disrespect was cheating on his wife at TwitchCon. And when Holy that became apparent to far crap. more views, Burger Planet changed the title of this VOD. Okay, so that was like six years ago, and he changed his title to... <laughs> So, six years ago, right? So 2018 kind of ish? Odd to Dr. Suspect caught flirting at TwitchCon. <laughs> Typical. This was at the end of October in 2017. Barely okay. two months later, on December 2017, Dr. Disrespect would go live on his stream, but for the first time in history, he wouldn't go live as Dr. Disrespect. Instead, Guy he Beam. would go live as Guy Bean. A very Oh my god, so this is when he, uh, he was genuinely, okay, so that was the chick he was, uh, like, flirting, or, I mean, he cheated on his wife with? Very upset on the verge of yeah. tears version of Guy B. Yeah. He would become one of the most iconic streams on Twitch, lasting barely two minutes. Watch. Damn, homie. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, now we have the context. Okay, now it makes sense. Hey, guys. Uh... <clears throat> Kind of have a, a little bit of a little bit of an announcement um and i just want to be completely transparent with you guys uh damn as you guys know i have a, a beautiful family and a wife and kid and um i want to be transparent that i've been unfaithful and Uh, and you know, on this one, like, I'm not gonna judge him. Why? Because, like, he... Uh, th this was in between, like, consenting adults by the looks of it, right? So if his wife, by the looks of it, his wife forgave him, or forgave him, and, you know, after that, it was kind of smooth, right? So I, I ain't gonna judge him. But what he did was wrong, absolutely not uh, defending him or anything like that. But uh, on this part, like, I'm gonna leave that between him, his wife, the person he cheated with, between God, if he believes that. If he doesn't, he doesn't, right? Simple as that. Like, on this one, I'm not gonna judge him for that, so. You can see a little spike here during the lockdowns at their worst, in which Dr. Disrespect was getting almost 100,000 followers per month. So June 2020, no. Month periodically reaching a max viewer count per stream of almost 40,000 people. This was huge. Yeah, sure, he would continue to create memes inadvertently, like how he bought a bunch of Shungite rocks to stop the 5G rays from hurting him and his family, but it played into his character. Look, Dr. Suspect is a boomer by all means. He's someone who peaked a long time ago and who still talks about his glory days. That's the whole character, that's the persona. Guy Beam himself described Dr. Suspect as edgy, highly opinionated, cocky, etc. when he had apologized for the bathroom incident in E3. And this was very much the case. This meant that- Yeah, the, the bathroom incident was hilarious though. Did he deserve a ban for that one? Maybe for just a couple of days. I guess he was banned about for that for a couple of days, right? Okay, maybe. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Uh, but then, uh, yeah, this happened in 2019. Okay, July 1st, 2019. So that one, okay, a couple of days, yeah, but not like a perma ban. Like, okay, of course. So what, what are we talking about, man? Not a perma ban, bro. Like over this one. Uh, and a lot of people learned real quickly after that one. Yeah, don't bring your cameras in the bathroom, man. <laughs> Him being at the Shungite and thinking 5G rays are going to kill you, or hell, even him cheating on his wife and him being a womanizer played very well into the character. But yes, of course, the fact that he got triggered over it wasn't helping, but should he choose to embrace it one day, it would have only made him stronger. He simply wasn't going to let his past mistakes get in the way of his unlimited potential, as how many people put it, the face of Twitch. As long as this was up to him, he was going to reach unprecedented heights. But unfortunately, it wasn't just up to him anymore. Because yeah. another entity would now become a part of the equation. An entity that Dr. Disrespect thought was on his side. 
until it wasn't. Because on June 26, 2020, Twitch banned Dr. Disrespect. With no announcement, with no prior knowledge, it just happened overnight. When people And this is where it was the turning point, right? This is when it's like uh, nobody, nobody knew why he was banned, right? Like people were uh, joking around, like this was a uh, bigger than the conspiracy of like Area 51, and everybody was like, "Yo, why did he get banned? Why did he get banned? Why? I don't know why did he, why did he get banned, right? Like and all that." Uh, nobody knew, but fast forward to like 2024. Here we go, guys. Which meant that he worked closely with some of the biggest talents on the website. Tweeted this after a tweet banned on Twitter too. 2024, four years after Dr. Disrespect got permanently banned on Twitch without anyone knowing why. Cody Connors, who used to be the Creator Partnerships Manager at Twitch, which meant that he worked closely with some of the biggest talents on the website, tweeted this out of nowhere. He, he says got he got yeah. banned because got caught sending a minor in the then existing Twitch Whispers product. He was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon. The powers that be could read in plain text. And you know, the craziest thing here is that he never, Cody never mentioned Dr. Disrespect, yo. Yeah, you know what I mean, right? Like, he never mentioned the word. And I know a lot of people were like, if this is false, he's gonna get sued by a doc. The thing is that he never said the word dog. Everybody else ex assumed that it was Doc, and then it blew up, blew up, blew up. Everybody started talking, 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 and then Doc admitted to some of the allegations as well, uh, I would say. Uh, uh, he said uh, he texted minors, in an individual minor, inappropriately. He removed the word minor, then added he con He was flip-flopping. I'm talking about Dr. Disrespect's official statement on his own Twitter. He was removing it, adding it, removing it, and adding it because he got caught uh, editing it out, right, on Twitter. So that happened as well, but that's the thing though, he never, Cody never mentioned Dr. Disrespect, but of course he was talking about Doc, but you gotta understand that in the very beginning, on June 22nd, 2 in the morning, right, you feel what I'm saying? He never said the word doctor though. Case closed, gang. And then he replies, no one made the wrong decisions, f him and his boys. This tweet blew up beyond proportion with almost 30 million views. This just shows you how much people wanted to know what happened to Dr. Disrespect, even four years later. The replies were mixed, with some people saying, oh, how am I supposed to believe you when you have no evidence posted, while others quickly yep. jumped on the bandwagon and called him a pedophile. Yeah, at, at this point, you know what I mean, right? Evidence was needed. Of course, we're talking about somebody just coming out, just dropping it randomly, and that's it. You're, you're telling me that you should believe the guy? Oh, absolutely not. Come on. Oh, oh, yeah, like, what are we talking about? No evidence? So people were asking for evidence, and that was genuine. That was genuine. But there were people that actually hit it, Doc. So they were like, yeah, no, Doc actually did it. Doc actually did it. So people jump on the bandwagon. Absolutely. The haters jumped on it at that point. Uh, we're talking about somebody's life. But now, of course, uh, we're way past that point. It's like, you know, Doc admitted to it. Still, I think we need the official Twitch response and we want to give, there should be uh, evidence and there should be disclosure. And what these ex-Twitch guys said that there were other st Twitch streamers that were doing the same thing, right? And that, there's a list apparently, there's a list somewhere out there at Twitch. So that, that needs to be leaked out. Like the video if you agree. It didn't help that such a big accusation was made in a very casual tweet. And it was unprofessional for someone who used to be the CPM at Twitch to talk about it this way. I mean, yep. Miskith, a big streamer on Twitch, had the Twitch CEO on his podcast and asked him straight up why was Dr. Disrespect banned. He didn't answer. He made up a story about aliens in a humorous way. This is how we would find out? What Cody was mentioning here in terms of the Twitch Whispers product was a discontinued function on Twitch which allowed you to DM people. Here we can see Dr. Disrespect actually using it. He had made this tweet on July 22, 2016 saying tender gentle Twitch Whispers, which is, you know, very unfortunate phrasing as to what we're talking about now. Showing whispers from a user that was pretty much telling him that he was falling off, that ever since he left Machinima things weren't looking good for him. But going back to Cody, what didn't really make him look too believable or credible, what didn't really make him look too good in the public eye was that back in 2023, he had made this tweet in which he said that if all three of his music show- Yup, 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 yup. And, and people were like not believing him, but after that doc admitted, so that's what happened. I wanna show you this as well. So he also responded, yeah, Elden Ring Monday, I didn't do anything wrong, all this has been probed and settled, nothing illegal. Now, the, the, the thing is that the reason, the, uh, some people believe that the reason he won the lawsuit against uh, Twitch was because Twitch whispers, right? They, uh, Twitch whispers is uh, basically Twitch messaging and Twitch absolutely went inside and they caught Dr. Disrespect messaging and they were not allowed to probe the Twitch whispers, the messages. They were not allowed to do that legally, of course. So what they did was illegal. They were just like low-key spying 
uh, not even low-key high key spying on doc right then we had robert balling this is a statement from me personally it does not reflect any of my companies and has not gone through any legal or pr approvals if you inappropriately message a minor i cannot work with you period i promise you only act on facts and i did he put out robert balling right the guy that made uh that worked on modern warfare 2 2009 he started a studio with Dr. Disrespect, Midnight Society. They are working on a game, I believe they still are. But they fired Dr. Disrespect from his own company that he himself started. So you guys gotta understand that Doc Dr. Disrespect himself started that. That happened. And then after that, Dr. received something during his stream. And he just went pale. We saw that as well. So it was at that moment he must have got the, the memo that he was getting fired from streamer doctor disrespect x by his game gaming company yup so he must have heard around this time that he's getting fired for his own company how does that work don't even make sense bloomberg said that youtuber uh youtuber doctor disrespect was allegedly kicked off to twitch uh for messaging minors so articles left and right then this famous <laughs> statement from doctor disrespect with uh, 120 million views on x twitter crazy and he edited that multiple times as well uh the word he added the word minor removed that word yeah so there we go he's also highlighting that let me actually put the face cam down here so you see uh come on now come on. Yeah. yeah here we go yeah so he added that the word minor he kept on removing that and then ninja talked about it and we learned that there's like a more uh there's another list so Dexterdo says, uh, were there Twitch whispers? Yeah, so that's what Dr. Disrespect. I want to actually get down to this one, okay? And then there was apparently a trans worker. Uh, she or he, yeah, he. Here. 2017 was insane. I don't know what the hell he was up to. He was messaging a minor, going out with a trans sex worker. Like, he was just <laughs> in every spectrum possible of being a degenerate. He was doing it. But look, this right here is some of their DMs. Her talking about what she might wear in her next cam show with Dr. Disrespect. And he's over here saying, nice feel like releasing one right now mmm yummy should i let it go or hold on <laughs> after he stopped replying on twitter they started talking on skype instead Lena said i will try to vid chat you soon i'm heading to the gym gotta get fit but don't be a stranger message me sometime you gotta get some photos sent your way and then he says i mean i'm gripping now oh boom. man he said i'm gripping <laughs> boom <laughs> So if you're online and you see someone say, I'm gripping now, boom, they're referring to this. This has become a meme as well. The assassination of one of the most iconic characters in entertainment is yet again happening right before our eyes. The image of someone like Dr. Disrespect sitting in his chair with his dick out saying, should I let it go or hold on? I mean, that by itself, you know, regard to the fact after. And then Dr. Disrespect knowingly sent explicit messages to a minor former Twitch employee says that happened. Uh, I, I'm just trying to find slasher says Twitch reported Dr. Disrespect to National, yeah, National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. This this came from Slasher. Now, Slasher is not the good, the, the best of best sources, but that's what happened. Dr. Disgusting said Valkyrie, Ray, uh, Pokemon also said, yeah, Moist Critical, Charlie, he went crazy. Holy shies, that's actually shocking. Confirming messaging a minor inappropriately, but saying there wasn't any real intent is almost verbatim what people used to say to Chris Hansen that also happened to almost every community online. And when things like this happen on the internet, of course, you also have a lot of memes. There were a lot here too. Hi doc, I made you a new logo. I hope you like it. <laughs> this is someone who had taken a picture with Dr. Suspect, right? The initial post. He was smiling because I was a minor. Oh my God. Was Doc told me not to post this because he's smiling, but oh well. And then he quote tweeted that same tweet and said he was smiling because I was a minor. <laughs> Moist Esports, which is the esports org co-owned by Moist Critical, screen capped an old video of Dr. Disrespect playing Apex Legends, saying, you're telling me, buddy, because the title was, Dr. Disrespect's climb to Predator is a sight to behold. <laughs> and speaking of Predator, this is a modified Alien vs. Predator poster, and <laughs> as you guessed, the Predator is Dr. Disrespect. Listen, kid, I don't have much time. Dr. Disrespect oh was banned because... <laughs> The memes were now okay. The memes are hilarious, right? Like what happened was just like insanity, right? But but do you guys think that he's really like a PDF file or what? He not justifying it, not justifying it. He uh, admitted it, but you know what? To me, like this guy is a real one. You know what I mean? Like e EDP, absolutely. From what we know so far, like Doctor never went out of his way to meet with a minor in a physical way in a physical setting unless more evidence comes out and we're proven wrong then absolutely at that point 
we'll, we're gonna label him some people are already are some people not uh they are not saying that i i, I yeah let me know where, where you guys at with that the only thing that wasn't disappointing in this entire situation that is a fact but even with everything that had happened so far things didn't really feel like they were truly over we still have some very big questions here who are these other people these pedophiles running free every day that use the twitch whisper this is the one i was talking about this is the one i was talking about oh, shit. so they're saying there are more streamers uh on twitch so this came from this guy per function to take advantage of minors why did twitch decide to take action only against dr disrespect who was one of their biggest streamers at the time was it because he wanted to according to them meet up with a minor at twitchcon was him mentioning twitchcon the reason why they got so scared and panicked and the victim by the way let's not forget about the victim who were they and are they ever going to come out and tell us the whole story i think that's important to remember too all i do know is that it's looking very and i mean very bad for dr disrespect right now yep, what happens absolutely. now is dr disrespect over as we know it well not quite he could end up streaming again after he's back from vacation and that stream will have a lot of viewers but i think then his viewers will start to slowly fade away never able to reach the heights he used to be at and that's if youtube doesn't decide to suspend him in which case youtube has demonetized him now it's going to be very interesting to see how the algorithm reacts to it when he comes back right because initially i think the numbers would be high but like he said it's going to dwindle uh i, I think there's going to be two reasons a the algorithm's not going to promote and also the viewers are also casually going to stop uh, not all of them, of course, but generally. And also the algorithm's not going to promote him too heavily because the channel is demonetized. Or maybe the opposite would happen because YouTube has demonetized him, but there are still ads on his videos is what I'm hearing. So YouTube, essentially, what, essentially what's going on right now is that YouTube has demonetized him and uh, now YouTube is keeping 100% of the royalties, 100% of the monetization income. Because uh, the way YouTube works is that they give the creator 55%. So if YouTube makes $100, they would give you 55 and they would keep 45 for them. So they demonetize him. So if he makes $100, YouTube's gonna keep $100 to themselves. So that's what's going on. So we could see the opposite happen where, you know what, if people clicks on his uh, stuff a lot, YouTube is like, let's promote the hell out of him. And because either way, we're keeping $100, right? To we, we don't have to give him 55%. You feel what I'm saying? So that's like double, like that's genius right there. So that could also happen. His options will be very limited. Kick.com had tried to acquire Dr. Disrespect at some point, but then he stated on stream that they simply just couldn't afford him. So he turned them Man. down. He wanted... If only he took that. Imagine he... Yeah, right now he must be like, hey, I should have taken that 50 million. Damn, Ovi. Can I rather get two pennies kick or something like that? 50 million? He said no to 50 million contract. This guy is crazy, bro. Now, yeah, he's not even going to get 500k, bro. 15 million dollars kicks head of strategic partnerships was asked if they were going to preemptively ban dr disrespect from kick because of all these recent developments they there said it's too soon so hey it's always a possibility i mean the kinds of people on that website are already kind of fucking crazy and there have already been a few cases of people there that have done weird things with minors there's also always the possibility of rumble but i don't think dr disrespect with his pride and ego would let himself stream on a website like that because he knows he'll barely have like a thousand viewers watching him there he has practically uh, rumble is uh, growing actually but but no i understand i mean youtube is the biggest though so you want to be on youtube absolutely youtube or twitch right he ran out of options and there's only so many things he can choose to do now this really does seem like the end for dr disrespect this goes to show that no matter how invincible no matter how untouchable someone might seem one mistake is capable of taking down limitless potential something yeah. that could have been revolutionary yeah the craziest thing is that he took years to build his uh, character and he made some mistakes and uh those mistakes caught up to him right yeah whether you are uh, on the side of doc or not uh, we're not even talking about that like genuinely speaking like you know it, it's uh, it's crazy as to what went down so he got canceled literally everywhere his own he got fired from his own studio uh his map got removed skins got removed uh, nba denounced him nfl denounced him all of his sponsors just backed out youtube demonetizes as well uh, they could have completely get rid of the channel, but th I guess, like, in, thank God, in his favor, they didn't remove his, Twitter did not remove him, they could have, but YouTube kind of demonetized him, so that's equally bad, if not worse, uh, it's not as worse as completely being banned, though, but it's bad, right? I want to know your thoughts on the story, because to Doctor, he, 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 so far, he has not returned. I want to know your thoughts. Check out this video on the screen because this recently happened as well. Sneak who actually talked about it as well. And we covered that story right here. Check out this video and I'll see you right there. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.